Josh, first of all, congratulations. You've put pen to paper on a long-term deal with the club. How happy are you with that? Yeah, I'm buzzing for that. Um, uh, yeah, buzzing for it. How did the conversation come about? Was it an easy decision to make? Um, the club just came forward to me asking if I was wanting to stay around for a bit longer than I've already done. Um, but no, it was easy for me to say yes. I've been here for a very long time, so I'm happy to stay longer. You're a boyhood Hibs fan, as you mentioned before. You've been here since you were eight. How much does this club mean to you? Yeah, it means a lot to me. Obviously, being a fan, it helps a bit more. Um, but the club trusting me um, and me putting the trust back into the club as well, it's, it's, it's a good connection we've got. Um, I feel like it's the best place for me to progress in my career. And that's why I've signed the contract. Throughout your, your time here, you've had a, a few ups and downs. What's that been like to deal with as a player? Yeah, I think it's just part and parcel of the game. You're, you're going to be uh, down sometimes and then you're going to have the, a good high. Um, and I, think, I feel like the fans have seen the best of me now, um, but now it's not the time to stop. It's to continue and to get more goals and more assists is what I'm doing, what I'm trying to Yeah, you've been on top form this season. Eight goals already and five assists. How much have you been enjoying your football this year? Yeah, it's been a, been a lot b uh, better considering last year. Um, I'm enjoying playing a higher role. Um, up beside the striker, I think I've got a good connection with Ellie and Nizzy when he's been playing. Um, I think we work well together. Yeah, how much is you know moving? Because I think last season you were playing a bit further back, almost that kind of centre defensive midfielder. But moving up, playing more box to box and getting further forward, do you think that's the best part of your game? Yeah, I feel like I've always trusted my ability of scoring goals and being a threat, running into the box late as the gaffer always touches on. If we always talk about. It. But arriving late in the box, getting the second balls and that. I think a few of my goals have been a few second balls. But yeah, I think it's like the best bit of my game. You mentioned the gaffer. How much has he impacted your progression this season? Yeah, massively. Um, look, we spoke, I think it was a few months ago, on targets with goals and assists. Um, we went through all the videos of ex-players um, down south. Um, we went through all that. And not just him as well, it's been Dave, Maka and Adam as well, I think. They've been helping. I've been got a lot stronger in the gym. I've lost a lot of body fat as well, so I feel like I'm a bit fitter and stronger. You're here until summer 2027. During the rest of your time with the club, what are your kind of hopes and ambitions? Um, I'm hoping that I can start testing the water with the Scotland national team, um, put myself out there. I've, I've had a bit of taste at under 21s level, and I'm now looking for a bit with the first team um, and, and to finish in the highest possible of the league with Hibs. Yeah, looking forward to this weekend then. Kilmarnock at home at, at Easter Road. How much are the lads looking forward to that? Yeah, we've had the, the weekend off there. Um, had a good hard week last week and then this week we've turned it down a wee bit, but we're looking very forward to it. Five games unbeaten in the league, a chance to make it six. Can you feel a kind of momentum shift amongst the group at the moment? Yeah, definitely. We feel like it was when we had that patch um, at the start of the season when we were winning games. We feel like that's back again um, and we're all just looking forward to it. Nice one, Josh. Well, congratulations. Good luck at the weekend and thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much.